Waters, Yandina Creek Wetland. In this episode, we're going to hear from one of our local partners, the University of Sunshine Coast. They've been taking a deep dive into life under the water. Let's check out what they've been up to. Our team are here monitoring the ecology uh, and progression of communities uh, in the wetlands on the site. Fish can now access a much greater area of the wetland and we are seeing uh, greater numbers of fish like mullet, brim, uh, some eels uh, and hopefully as conditions start to warm we'll see more crabs and crustaceans start to recruit into the site. We have a couple of different sampling methods that we conduct here. We deploy around 15 cameras all around the site. So within the cameras we've seen a bunch of species such as mullet, brim and a heap of bait fish species and we also have three control sites which we also use the same techniques so we can see over time how the changes in the Andina site match or differ from our different control sites. The Yandina wetland site is a really interesting site and it's going to be great for us to monitor how it uh, progresses over the next five years. As tidal flow improves on the sites we'll see more mangroves and more salt marsh grow in the site uh, and what we know is that those habitats are really important nurseries for juvenile fish, prawns, crabs, things that we like to go and catch and, and eat, uh, and things that also give us a, a good indication of how healthy the system is. 